Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I am excited to talk about Googling yourself today in today's blog. If you listen to our podcast on Monday, the first two questions that we had spoke about were, why is it important to Google yourself and your practice? And how do you fix the information that is out there if it's incorrect or outdated? And this is something that, you know, people sometimes tend to overlook. You don't realize that if you are a practice owner or if you're a physician and you've been at multiple practices, that your information is most likely out there on the web. And it's important to make sure that as a physician or a business owner, you know exactly what is out there and that it's the correct information. Sometimes we'll get, you know, our phone number will update or our address will change location. Maybe we add a service and we forget to add that to our online content. So in today's blog, we are talking about Googling yourself. And although that seems kind of silly, it's actually really important. And you wanna make sure that you are Googling your name you want to make sure you're Googling your name with your abbreviations. You want to make sure that you are Googling your practice name, your hospital name, wherever you are working, because there's going to be a listing for both your business and you personally. So you want to make sure that you know what is out there. And when you do find something, when you, you know, a, a Google listing comes up, you wanna make sure it's the correct information. So sometimes we've had maybe different marketing people work for us, or in the beginning we maybe set up three different Google My Business pages or three Facebook pages, and that happens. But let's talk through how to fix that. So when you Google your practice name, most likely what will come up is on your Google search, you will have the websites that come up that list your name on them. And then usually on the right hand side of your screen, if you're looking at your screen, you will see most likely a Google business listing. And this could be something that you have put together. This is something that Google may have put together. And you're on the search side, a lot of times those are around, like those are different directory listings or different websites that you are on. It could be your social media account. So you want to go through and take inventory of each of those sites that come up that lists either your name or your practice name. And you want to make sure those are correct. Now, you can have um, vitals may come up, WebMD, health grades. A lot of different directory listings could come up for your name and practice. So you want to make sure that that information is current and that you own that directory listing. So if you click onto that website and it pulls up your listing for your name or your practice, there should be a button that says claim this listing. And you want to make sure like with um, health grades and vitals, it's one email per listing. So if you are the marketing director of your hospital and you have seven doctors that work there and you're trying to do this for each of them, it needs to be their email address. So we recommend the physician's email address with each listing because then that doctor can go there and update it whenever they need to. So you're gonna go to claim the listing. If you're the business owner, same thing, claim that listing, put in your business email account, and then you will have to go back in and um, create the account, go in and edit the information. And with Google, if there's multiple Google listings that come up, you'll want to see which accounts that you've created and edit that information. If there are accounts that other people or other companies have created, then you can either claim them uh, you can have them make you an admin so you can merge pages together so you only have one Google My Business. Same with Facebook, depending on if you have a couple Facebook pages out there, you may be able to just delete one if it's an old one, um, or you can merge them. So just making sure you are aware of what is showing up when people are Googling you. The other tool that we use a lot is Moz, M-O-Z dot com. There is an annual fee to this. I think it's $129 a year, but this makes sure that it keeps all of the information about you or your center 
current and up to date across all different online directories. It does not cover vitals, WebMD, or health grades. So those are ones you need to do individually, but it does help with the Google listings and other directories that are out there. So I hope that this, you know, one more thing that kind of do before the end of the year, it's important to do this, you know, once a quarter. Um, you don't know, and, and if, especially if you're being featured in a different online magazine, you know, Googling yourself, you can also set up Google Alerts. And if you just Google Google Alerts and you put in your, you can set up an alert if you, um, anytime something goes online about your practice name or your name, you would get an email and you would have a weekly email, a monthly email. Um, you would even have a daily email if you wanted to. But this just allows you to stay on top of what's going out there that has your name on it or your practice's name. And then again, just to make sure that that information is current and correct and that it is all consistent amongst all different platforms. So if you have questions or you need help cleaning up your Google search and making sure everything is on the same page, please let us know. Head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com and request a free 30-minute consultation today. And be, for, be sure to follow us on iTunes. Have a great day. Bye.